Hello, I'm Andy Makin and welcome to Making Computers. I apologise that it's been quite a while since the last video. Um, I'd gone back to work full time and unfortunately just didn't really have the physical capacity to continue with the channel or reviews on Custom PC Magazine. Uh, so I effectively had to retire. But then about three months ago, Thermaltake gave me a call and asked me if I'd represent the UK in the 2022 Case Mod Invitational. And I thought, free PC and the chance to do some mods again? Brilliant. Yeah, let's go for it. Fast forward three months and life hasn't been particularly kind. I've had uh, a minor cancer scare, a dislocated shoulder, a seriously broken rib. <laughs> and some home improvements that have been going on almost as long as these unfortunate events. At the moment, my office is crammed with half my kitchen. Uh, so things have been a little bit delayed, but to uh, kick things off, I thought we'd uh, go through all the hardware from the sponsors, but there is quite a lot. And when I say there's quite a lot, I mean there's quite a lot. So build montage.
skip.
So there we have it, the Pacific Toff C360 DDC kit made to build in the loop really easily, especially in a case like this. The couple of knotty adapters you get in that kit just allow you to make a couple of tight turns away from blocks and pumps and everything, which aren't always included in the kit and a feature that I really enjoyed. A link will be down below uh, where you can pick up your own kit. Um, so it's only three months late and at the time of filming, I have just under three weeks to do the entire mod, which should be fun. Uh, here you can see an array of the water cooling gear that will be going into the mod, although not all of it will be going inside the computer. Oh, no. ah, there will be carbon fiber, there'll be steel, I'll even be trying a bit of welding and I've never done that before so that'll be fun to see how that turns out. Uh, I definitely haven't been idle, there's been lots of planning, I've had to rejig things, rethink how I'm going to do stuff given the short space of time that I've got to do it in. Um, and I have had the mustachioed marvellous machinist himself, Alex Banks, knock me up something rather special that I can share with you now. It's these amazing RAM heat sinks that's going to go on the Thermaltake Tough RAM XG. I think he's even looking to produce versions of these heat sinks for sale. So I'll leave a link down below where you can check him out and I'm sure he'll have some footage of these being made uploaded soon. Some of you may be thinking, but if you've got those amazing heat sinks to go on the RAM, why on earth have you got this LCD RAM block? Well, the thing with that is... <laughs> ah, I had you going for a minute there. Uh, I'll actually be using that RAM block on the GPU, but you'll have to stay tuned to see exactly how. You can do that by subscribing to the Making Computers YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook uh, for updates throughout the rest of the next few weeks and see exactly what's going on. A huge, huge thank you to Enigma State for letting me use their awesome track Enigmatic in the build video there. Uh, I'll leave a link to all their channels down below. And a huge thank you as well to all the sponsors of the competition, Asus Republic of Gamers, Asrock, Seagate, Intel, and of course, Thermaltake. I, uh, I guess I best get started then. So, until the next one, wish me luck. See you then.